Palm Sunday. Lord Jesus Christ, you entered Jerusalem in quiet humility, taking the form of a servant, even to the point of death on a cross, emptying yourself so that we might be filled. Come again now and establish your kingdom. Come afresh to our troubled world with all its needs, its tensions, its problems, and its evil. Come again now and establish your kingdom. Bring healing where there is division, love where there is hatred, hope where there is despair, joy where there is sorrow, confidence where there is fear, strength where there is weakness, healing where there is sickness, life where there is death. Come again now and establish your kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, reach out to your church and world, despite the weakness of our faith and the rejection of so many. May your will be done on earth, even as it is in heaven. Come again now and establish your kingdom, for in your name we pray. Dear Father, we thank you for each day that you give us. For sunshine and rain, we need both. For the early signs of spring, daffodils, crocuses, buds on the trees, knowing that out of death you bring life. For the love of family, friends and neighbours, and the care and communication that has been such a positive during lockdown. For our church family, the love between us, the compassion and care for others, and the desire that we have to share the love of Jesus, our Saviour. We remember those countries in our world who are unable to obtain the COVID-19 vaccine. We pray that in the UK particularly, we will have compassion and find a way to champion the way forward, to enable others to be blessed as we have been. We remember too all those in many countries who are living in poverty, especially at this time, we think of Myanmar. We pray that the violence will cease and that peace will reign. Be with them, Lord, and undertake for them in their many struggles. We remember too Brian and Jackie Chivers, our BMS World Mission Partners. Give them patience and fortitude as they wait for the okay to start their work in Chad. Your timing, Lord, is perfect. Following, O Lord, something that we talked to you about in our last prayer meeting, reminded me of a quote I once heard from a man called Edmund Burke, which was quoted in a speech by John F. Kennedy in 1961. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Dear Father, help us to be not only bold in prayer, but to trust the prompting of your Holy Spirit to speak out aloud and in written word. Stir us up to defend the honour of your name and the truth of your word in the Holy Bible. As the song says, Restore, O Lord, the honour of your name. In works of sovereign power, come shake the earth again that men may see and come with reverent fear to the living God, whose kingdom shall outlast the years. And now nearer to home. We have thanked you, Lord, for our families, church family and friends. But now in the quietness of our hearts, we bring before you all those who need your healing touch, 
in body, mind and spirit. And finally, a reflection prayer for this last year. It is so hard, loving God, to express all that is in our hearts today. So much has made us sorrowful, and we commend to you all who have died, all who mourn, all who are still ill, and all separated from their loved ones. So much has made us anxious, and we bring to you all who are burdened by worries about their health, their jobs, their education, or their finances. So much has made us thankful. The care of the NHS, the vaccine, the work of so many communities. It is so hard, loving God, to express all that is in our hearts today. But you know it all, and we put our trust in you. Amen. Um,